This is going to be very fast, and you're not looking for perfection. We don't have much time. So I have the stages that we're going to be doing set up here. Let's begin. First, we're going to take our biggest brush that you have and put a little water on there. We're going to start with the little blue. This is going to be really fast, like a game show, so there's no time for perfection. With your palette, you're going to draw your horizon line a little less than halfway down. And just a straight line across. Load your brush up with blue, and we're going to go right across the top. Sweeping motions all the way from one side to the next. Working as quickly as you can. We're going all the way down to the horizon line with the white and coming up and blending it into the blue. And just keep working it back and forth until you have your sky in place. And just fill that canvas in the best you can. And we're just going to block in the river banks on the sides in a Z pattern. And with the dry brush, you can just make the marks where the banks are going to go. Working quickly, the next step we're going to do is to take a medium-sized brush, and we're going to put the dark lines in the river bank. We're going to move on and put some clouds in. Just load it with white, and we're just going to block some clouds in. Maybe three clouds up here coming off the page, off of your canvas. They could go right to the end. All right, 30 seconds, and we'll move on. The next step we're going to do is we're going to block in some mountains in the background. So you'll need a medium-sized brush, and we're going to mix some red and blue with a little white and going to give us a purplish tone. I'm going to make three mountains, blue, red, and some white. Once you have the outline, you can begin to fill the mountain in. We're going to try to keep a darker, a darker tone on the left side. So I think we're going to move on now. We're going to put a tree line right at the base of the mountains, right on the horizon line. We're going to make a dark green with blue. I'm just blocking in with vertical lines, some thick lines, some shorter, some taller, and we're making a tree line. We're just dabbing it in right down to the horizon. You can go right over your mountains. I'm going to put two trees in. So you can look at your landscape and decide where you want them to go. One I'm going to have here, I'll put a center line down just as a guideline, and the other one about here. That's where I'm going to put my trees. Use a thick brush. You don't need to have a lot of stroke. Yellow and white, just a light color so that you have the placement of these trees. I'm going to be loading it with white to place in the birch tree and just bring the line all the way up to the top, back and forth. You can extend some branches off there at the top. Remember not to take this too seriously. You have to keep a light heart about this. No perfection. You're just going quickly as we can and I think you'll be surprised when you're done. So I'm trying to work this lighter color to the right, and I'm bringing it over to the center, and I'm just working these trees, fanning the color out, give the illusion of branches, sporadically just dabbing across to give the illusion of a fir tree. and just put a little highlight on those rocks. Basically, that's your painting there. 